Institution here in the British International School of Budapest. My name is Yedif Botod. I am the leader of the Tanzania CCA in the school. I have an amazing Tanzania CCA team with six year 12 students, Alice, Anira, Julia, Hannah, Noah and Roberto. Together we prepared for you a Tanzania exhibition. You can read all the information if you press pause. Please enjoy and let's walk with us. Welcome to uh, Tanzania in Africa. This notice board has been prepared and researched by Roberto in year 12. Thank you, Roberto. Um, Tanzania as a country is absolutely huge. It's amazing how big it is. Um, question for you, you may want to go and research it. How many times would Hungary fit inside the size of Tanzania? You'll be surprised. Beautifully photogenic. This is a gorgeous sunset, but don't be confused. There are very often horrendous downfalls of rain. Um, the weather in Tanzania is, is pretty stable. Certainly the sun, sunrise and sunset in the morning is, and evening is consistent. Um, elements that Roberto, I think in his research, is, is very interesting is these are uh, oil-filled lanterns that predominantly they've used in Tanzania for obviously electricity. When the video zooms in and press pause, have a look at this particular photo and see if you can notice a modern day difference. Hi everybody, welcome to your next notice board. This one has been thoroughly prepared and researched by Hannah Sugar in Year 12. Thank you Hannah, some brilliant information on here. The, the theme of this particular notice board is about children in Tanzania. People of your age, they have, like you, hopes and dreams and aspirations for the future. And um, what's particularly interesting is that they go to school and it starts at 7 a.m. Nice to see them all in perfect uniform. Um, their first task in the morning is not just to get to registration on time. You might be surprised to read that they have an expectation of cleaning the classrooms before lessons start. Um, quite a bit of information here about the differences that many children of this age group have in terms of their education and experience. Um, just going to school and having the opportunity to go to school is an achievement in itself. So have a read of that and perhaps be a little bit reflective of how fortunate we are. Tanzania is an absolutely incredible place to visit, but there are a few do's and don'ts that you need to be aware of, as drawn up by Alice over here. Okay, let's go for the do's first of all. Um, you will be expected to wear correct clothing, so do dress appropriately. It's quite a conservative country, um, and in actual fact, funny thing is, shorts are considered childish, so bear that in mind. Um, do expect people to greet you wherever you are, whoever you bump into. Do expect people to exchange pleasantries with you. It's an incredibly friendly country. Okay? The other thing, of course, is do bring a nice camera. There's so many incredibly vivid and vibrant things for you to actually see, witness experience, and the best way to capture them, of course, is with a camera. On to the don'ts now. Okay? Um, don't fear the food. Okay? Tanzanians are incredibly generous people. They do like to share everything with you. And if you get invited to have a meal with someone, don't be surprised if you get the best item put onto your plate, okay? And considering the plate as well, do make sure you finish whatever's put on your plate because otherwise it's considered to be very, very offensive. Talking of food and meal times, it's very, very important in Tanzania that you only use your right hand for eating with. Let's just say that the left hand is used for something else called toilet etiquette, should we say. OK? 
okay? So always make sure you use your right hand for eating, and greeting and shaking hands with people, okay? And finally, um, don't bring plastic bags. There's actually a, a, a kind of countrywide initiative to eradicate the use of plastic bags in Tanzania. Um, and you'll probably see some signs around the country, if ever you visit, um, to not actually try and use plastic bags. tourism perspective, Tanzania is a truly incredible place to visit, um, as we can see from the nearest presentation here. Some of you may be well aware of the Serengeti National Park, um, which is an incredible place to go on safari, as it actually has the greatest concentration of wild animals on the planet. Okay? Um, in the Serengeti, you may have also heard of the Maasai people as well. They're the only kind of true um, inhabitants that live there. Okay? Um, and of course, it goes without saying, we've got Mount Kilimanjaro, okay? It's a dormant volcano located in Kilimanjaro Park, and I, I gather it's the highest in Africa itself, and it's the highest mountain in the whole world that can actually be climbed without the use of technical equipment. information about this amazing organization in Tanzania. Siwe Tanzania was founded by Rebecca and Wendy. These two lovely ladies moved to Tanzania 2004. In the last 17 years, Siwe Tanzania achieved a lot of difference in the life of children and families in Tanzania. Welcome to your next notice board. This actually follows on from the first one you've already had a visit to. Um, this digs in a little bit further about the uh, Seaway Tanzania uh, organisation that was set up by the two ladies uh, back 2004, Wendy and Rebecca. And it's their organisation that students from BISB and other North Anglia schools, when they go to Tanzania, they work very closely with the Seaway experience in the places they go and they spend their time with. Um, this has been put together by NOAA, uh, and when you drill in and have a look and pause at some of this information, they're, they're called inspirations, and they really are a fascinating read. And um, Take your time, have a look at it, and, and I, I know you will be inspired. It's the fantastic information. Um, this photo here I recognise from um, last year, uh, and in the background there it is a really, really important construction that students from this school constructed for that particular village. And I'll leave you to have a look at it and see if you can work out what it is. The clues in the picture. Tanzania, 
Hi everybody, today we have a surprise for you because it's Tanjane day at the school. Today we prepare for you a mango crisps with crunchy cinnamon topping. I hope you will enjoy and have a nice day. See you later. Hello everybody, welcome to this notice board. What you'll find here is a selection of photos of current teachers who've been to Tanzania as part of the BISB expedition and some very familiar faces. When you're back in school, maybe touch base with them, find out what, how it was their experience for them. Similarly, when the camera zooms in and you can press pause, um, here are some phenomenally inspirational quotes of students who've been to Tanzania and what they summarise their experience as. Brilliant, have a read. In our exhibition here, you can see a wonderful array of artefacts that have actually been brought back to the school um, from our teachers and staff that have actually gone on the um, expedition over the last few years. We've got everything ranging from the canvas here to um, handmade earrings, serving bowls, and such like. Um, what else do we have here? There's some beautiful artwork. The, the, the level of detail associated to all of these materials and products, considering that they're all handmade, it just makes them so special. And you can understand, when you, when you drill in and the camera shows you this, you can understand why people just find them just so beautiful and bring them back. Um, that They are really very, very special. From the colours, you can also see how kind of cool Tanzania is in the reality. A big thank you to Rebecca and Wendy from Seabay Tanzania for their support and obviously thank you so much for your attention. I hope you like the Tanzania exhibition. See you soon. <laughs> Big G, I can't